Confusion over the Emmy nomination for Harry and Meghan. What's gone wrong? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. It's Whitehall this morning and I hope you're enjoying the view. These are known here in London as the corridors of power. Number 10 is just literally moments away and everything else around me is, of course, the government buildings. And what I like about it is you really are walking in history. Where I'm stood right now is where Winston Churchill walked to work every single day. Imagine that. But back to your royal story. Now, yes, there's some confusion, as ever, with Harry and Meghan over this Emmy Award nomination for their interview sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. You know the one I'm talking about. More holes in it than a Swiss cheese. But apparently, the Emmy people seem to think it's worthy of a nomination. Now, it gets really embarrassing simply because everybody's now discovered, particularly in the industry over in Hollywood, that the show was put forward for a nomination prior to it being broadcast. This is rather strange because normally most shows are, of course, seen and then put forward by the production companies. Which, of course, has led many to speculate that was the interview, in fact, filmed far more in advance and were tapes supplied to the Emmy nominees before it was screened to the worldwide public. Now, of course, there's no problem with this particular situation. It's very good for the Emmy Awards. They're actually getting some untold PR. But, of course, the story gets even more interesting, simply because, as we told you on the show the other day, Harry and Meghan may or may not attend, may or may not send a video. Now, of course, all the journalists would like Harry and Meghan to walk the red carpet because it would give them an opportunity to actually ask the question, why did you reveal so many untruths to Oprah Winfrey? Now, if Oprah were to turn up, of course, she possibly will turn up with her close friend, Gail King, you know, the one that can't keep a secret either. And it gets really interesting because if Oprah were to talk to the media, the journalists in line waiting, perhaps someone there would be brave enough to ask the question, why didn't you ask any follow-up questions? Why didn't you ring the Archbishop? Why didn't you point out that you couldn't have had a secret wedding? Whichever way, it is really amounting to some spectacular PR for the forthcoming Emmys, but possibly for all the wrong reasons. Neil Sean, Whitehall, London.